All right, guys. Hey, how's it going? Uh, we're back here <laughs> shooting the shit again with Ace Kill, Kinkaze, and I'm Kiba. Yo. That's Ace Kill. I'm Kiba. Anyways, <laughs> today we're talking. We're, we're talking about. Um. Wait, 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 wait. Who are who are you again? Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about uh, what Jack Trenton uh, basically said, comparing console gaming and uh, mobile gaming uh, to wine, pretty much. He pretty much says uh, you can't compare it to because console gaming is going to be better. It's like buying a $800 bottle of wine compared to a $200 bottle of wine to aficionados that $800 bottle of wine is it's way better than that $10 bottle. So consoles are better than mobile game I, whatever I just, I just want to say i totally agree with this article Joke because confirmed. android games are garbage i'm just gonna <laughs> come out and say it like <laughs> yeah okay let me let me take Joke that back confirmed. if you are a person who considers himself a hardcore gamer and likes a progression in story and Joke skills confirmed. and in scope android games are garbage like they're just not fun well yeah, I get what you're saying, but I, I don't think this is a fair comparison to make because it, it's all gaming, but mobile gaming is, it, it's in the title. It's mobile, it's on the go. It's a, you play a game for a few minutes while you're waiting for a bus or some shit. Yeah, so I don't want to delegitimize, uh, you know, Android gaming. If that's what people are into, you know, that, that's what they're into. But I don't think, but the, the problem with it, it for me is that most people who develop Android games don't have any sort of scope in mind. They just create these sort of cash games where like, you never progress, you never get anywhere without buying something, without opening up your wallet and paying one or two bucks for some extra crystals or an extra energy pack. And even then, you don't really get anywhere. There's no end game in sight. There's no you know new revelation, something you didn't previously know. It's just more enemies to fight. Now you have more resources. Yay! Find leaderboards. Like. Well, yeah. I mean, and then there, there, there are some games that aren't like that. That you can just play and never have to uh, buy another damn thing. Um, I play. I remember Robot Unicorn Attack when it first came out. It, it, it was a pay game, but it was still really fun. And then after you buy extra shit, Robot Unicorn Attack 2 is out now, and it's free. They do ask you if you want to pay for some shit like extra unicorns but it's it's never required to continue playing the game like you don't you don't need to pay for anything oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to get more lives or to level up or anything you could just buy extra levels or extra characters which well that's I think... what i mean about it well that's what i mean but but even in that it's like hey do you want extra lives well that in itself sort of implies it's an arcade sort of game and that's what most Android games are they're, they're arcade games with no end in sight, but you get to buy you get to pay money for resources to get you a little bit higher on the leaderboards. It's never really a satisfying experience for the sort of people who like story and unlocking new skills and doing new things. Now I I, I want to kind of sum it up like this: the the Android gaming market is, is like uh, a little a little town that's run and operated and owned by EA. <laughs> you know, <laughs> with the exception of a, of a few games, it, it's exactly the way you described. And I also want to add that uh, if you're also a gamer who likes immersion of any sort in your games, yeah, yeah. And, and Android gaming is <laughs> not for you. And I know people will probably be offended, but uh, the the main demographic that Android games should appeal to. I'm I'm looking at Candy Crush is like 14 and 15 year old girls. No, I wouldn't even say that. People without the time to play, it's like actual the like hardcore games. Yeah, 14 like and 15 year old girls are in high school. Those. Are the... <laughs> Shut up. It, like those are the kinds of people who are gonna gravitate towards Android games. Like Enemies you know they've got kids or like they've got a full time job and like they can't they can't spare any time. Well, 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 yeah, yeah, um, it, it was hilarious. John actually mentioned Candy Crush, my roommate, actually plays that game just because he doesn't want to pay to play Bejeweled. So Candy Crush is a good alternative for him. 
And uh, he doesn't play games like that. He he plays Candy Crush because he works like 14 hours a yeah, day yeah. or something. It's a fun way to kill time for a couple minutes, but it's not sort of going to be an interesting experience that you're going to talk to people about. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to have an amazing story to tell about Candy Crush. Wow. Or, you know, like a cheap online version of Tetris. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, and, on, and, and on the console side, you you are paying like four hundred dollars for a new console and sixty dollars for each new game, but again, you're you're expecting to get that grand scale experience with the graphics and the story and the gameplay. Um, you want to get the bang out of your buck, of course, but then there's always some games that will just they'll just rob you blind and not give you really anything in return. Um, there was. What was it? I remember the game came out. It was a uh, Homefront. It was made by the same guy that made the original Red Dawn, and I I love Red Dawn. I I, I love the remake, um, and I was excited about the game. But then I played the entire game through. I'm sorry. I played the entire game through, and come to my surprise, it's like four or six hours long, and I'm sitting there with my fucking thumb up my ass, saying what the fuck. Luckily, I didn't pay a fucking dime for that game. I played it uh, through one of my friends. Fuck you. I don't know. I, I, this is okay. So this is something that's been making me mad about Android games for the longest. There's no reason that they couldn't be complete, interesting, full games with scope. It's just that the people who invest in that market are looking to make more money off of it than you know a couple bucks. And I, but I feel like if there was a $15 Android game that was a complete RPG, like. Final Fantasy, even if it was one of the old ones, I would totally pay for that. Oh, and there's well, no reason, there's no reason why big companies like EA or Capcom or any of those guys couldn't get in on the Android market and simply make games. They, they don't even have to be extremely long, but they can make games suited for an Android audience, the people who don't have time but still want a story, well, but, still want something interesting. Um, to interject, there are actually some good Android uh, games out there. I've played a few. I don't remember of this one particular game. It was it was an RPG, and um, I, I had actually got a few hours logged into it because it was actually pretty uh, getting really interesting, and the battle system was actually uh, it, it was like Final Fantasy ish, but it was it was pretty good, and I was getting immersed into it, which uh, which surprised me for an Android game. Yeah, but for the most part, that definitely doesn't happen. It's kind of a rare treat. It does. It, that's why I liked it so much. To play on my phone Fucking and 46 there kills already, some you bullshit, kidding me? Like, in class or some shit in school, I could just play this Final Fantasy type game. Yeah, I would much rather buy, you know, just buy a DS or a Vita. I mean, because get that to me, you don't, if you don't have the time, I would rather just play something I can quickly put away. Because Android games are mostly a waste of time and money, if you ask me. The best gaming I've done on my Android device is downloading a Game Boy Advance emulator and <laughs> playing uh, exactly. Pokemon for the first time in about 13 years, so... That's pretty much the same thing. That's I how you do that. <laughs> well, that's the end of that conversation. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. For more dysfunctional content, be sure to subscribe. Uh, make sure you favorite the video, like it. Uh, comment if you would like and have like a good us on one. Facebook. Like us on Facebook as well. Um, have a good one, guys. See you. Love you.